In the mid-90s, I sold broadcast electronics. It was my first real job. It was my first real job, I guess you'd say. It was my first job out of college. It was my first nine-to-fiver. And by that, of course, I mean 7.40 to about 5.30 with like a 40-minute lunch break. My first job that had uh, paid vacation. And to this day, my only job that had paid vacation my first job with sick time and my only job with sick time. It's crazy. I've worked, I've worked more or less nonstop since I was a teenager, since I was like 16. That, you know, that's neither here nor there. No, it was, uh, it was this great job where we sold broadcast electronics and home theaters were just getting big. People were buying projectors for their home theaters. So forget about the constraints of the time. Back then, a, a TV, the, the flat panels didn't even exist until I was there. While I worked there in like, I don't know, 96 or 7, the Fujitsu 42-inch flat screen came out, and it retailed for 15 grand. And the damn thing weighed a ton, but it was beautiful. And it was so thin, it was like 6 inches thick. Now that's absurd by today's standards. TVs are like two inches thick now or one and weigh a fraction as much but <clears throat> I guess it was five inches because you had a four inch uh, behind the bevel and bezel bevel what am I talking about so you could cut out a wall with a uh, with two by four studs and recess it and it would look like it was flush to the wall anyway it was a big ass flat screen TV and it was the first one but the rich people weren't spending 15 grand on those and by the way dealer cost was 7500 so if you paid if you got an awesome discount at 12 grand you were still getting ripped off but they were new and exclusive <clears throat> but no you could buy a pretty awesome bright uh, SVGA projector for 2500 bucks which I did because I had the money back then and you could have a home theater that would just crush it. And there was big concern from the movie industry that maybe this is going to be the end of movies. Now we've seen in the intervening 20 years that movies have not died. But the question always comes up, well now we've got HD, now we've got 4K. The sound has been perfected for 15 years and it's always getting cheaper. Are movies going to die? And the answer to me is a resounding hell no. Theaters are going to survive. They're going to, they're going to continue to prosper despite the absurdly high ticket prices. We go to the second run theater. Just this week, we saw The Martian in 3D for four bucks a ticket in Federal Way. It was awesome. Now I had already seen The Martian online, and let's just say, for argument's sake, that I did so legally, because you know, who likes to admit to a crime in a recorded format, but I'd seen it online. And then I'd seen it online again because it was so good. And then I took my family to see it and seeing it in the theater, especially in 3D was just plain better. But there's a bunch of reasons theaters are going to survive. The first, the easy one is 3D at home just isn't catching on. It was a big push. Didn't make it. It's a terrible idea. No one wants to sit at home with 3D glasses on. Now, yeah, you can use a 3D TV as a 2D TV, but come on, get real. No, the big reason that movies are going to survive is because the experience is completely different. At home, you have endless distractions. Everyone is on their phone or their tablet or, you know, uh, halfway through it, you can stop and look down and look up the cast and find out who's in what and you can pause it to go make snacks <clears throat> it's not the same in a theater you're required to pay attention and you're allowed to pay attention it is expected that your phone will be off that no one will be talking it is expected that you that you know you can't pause it you have to experience the movie with the timing and cadence that the director intended and it's just better that way. When I, I frequently watch movies and TV shows while I'm working. It's always on in the background. And there are movies I've seen three, four times that I still haven't, you know, seen. 
because I'm constantly pausing them and I, I miss too much. I tried to watch a, an interesting thriller, which I'll talk about in a hot stream at some point. And I finally had to just turn it off. I, I wasn't getting it. The reason they're going to survive is because the money coming in is so fantastic that they can keep making these fantastic works of art and we'll keep going back to see them because the experience is just plain worth it. Besides, I just can't make the same popcorn at home. I mean, I can. It tastes the exact same. It just doesn't have the same expensiveness about it. I don't know. I just like it.